players and all that stuff. But this is not CFL related, but it is Canada related. We are in South Florida, and tomorrow yeah. is the Stanley Cup opener, game one, between the Florida Panthers, who sent the New York Rangers sorry asses home, and the Edmonton Oilers. Hey, I used to play there. When I grew up, okay, I'm 46 years old. When I grew up, Edmonton was on top of the world with Wayne Gretzky, Mark Messier, and all those guys in that, uh, Grant Fuhr, the goalie. Yeah, I know some names because I used to watch Edmonton. Don't even know why I chose them. I guess it's probably because they're the best team. Um, but at the same time, the Pittsburgh Penguins with Mario Lemieux, and there was the Mario Lemieux-Wayne Gretzky rivalry, and I was always a Wayne Gretzky guy. Again, don't know why. I just was. I was a kid. But I always cheered for them Edmonton Oilers, and I was so excited to see those guys beat the Dallas Stars. Because I think it's a really cool dynamic that you have the furthest team in the South going to the furthest team in the North. It is like a 2,500-mile flight. It, no one flies direct into Edmonton, I guess, unless you're chartered by a professional team. And you might even need to stop because, I mean, what is it, a seven-hour flight? Direct eight hours? It's a Do long-ass it. flight from Miami to Edmonton. Uh, let's see. I always had to take a connected flight. Yeah, but you weren't going as a charter of the I team in the Stanley Cup. Five hours in total. I went to Houston when it was three hours, and then from Houston to Edmonton was like another two and a half hours. So it was like five hours. Two and a half hours from Houston to Edmonton? Yeah. Bro, it's six hours to L.A. from Miami. How is it six hours to Edmonton? I, I'm, I'm just telling you what. Like flying to damn near Alaska. I'm telling you what it was. It was, it was two, two and a half hours to Houston or something like that from Miami. And then uh -huh. three hours from Houston to, to, to Edmonton. Wow. Because yeah, because I, I just think it's so cool, the dynamic. And when they show it on the map, you're like... You just go straight from Houston. You go straight up. And it's under Calgary. Edmonton is lower than Calgary. I thought Calgary was lower than Edmonton. You know what? You know what? Bro, I, you're, kill, you're killing me, bro. You live in Canada. You don't I know a damn map. Look at the map. Oh, man. I, got, I, I know Edmonton's north of freaking Calgary. Because Edmonton's no, like Edmonton, on the planet. Edmonton is north of Calgary. Yeah, I thought so. Like, it's in yeah. the middle of nowhere. Calgary's lower. Than, but it's yeah, not Calgary, is, Calgary is south of Edmonton. Yes, yes. At Calgary, you're damn near, you're closer to the U.S. I mean, yeah, heck, yeah. you're, what are you, almost in I Montana? Like my, uh, Is it Montana? Yeah. Yeah, it's north of Montana. Montana, because I had yeah, a Edmonton is, Edmonton is like almost in the freaking middle of nowhere. Holy, like, it's right it's, I, just, I just think it's dope as hell to see them have to travel that damn far and have a, because Canada's not won a Stanley Cup since 1993. That's crazy. So, really? so this is not just a cup. This is like a Canada thing. This is Canada versus U.S. This is Canada versus the U.S. But, 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 but I'm sorry, but the, the Panthers are going to kick their fucking ass. <laughs> the Panthers are. I watched. I, there's one thing that I will always watch, and I may not watch regular season hockey all that much besides Playoff. the Panthers. Playoff hockey is the most intense thing I've ever seen. It's more intense than NFL. It's, more, it's definitely more intense than, than the the NBA um, baseball obviously is no hitting. So, but I mean, baseball, every pitch is like, you know, it could be the biggest thing on earth, but in hockey, you make one mistake, you lose the game. Like a game is so damn fast. And I'm watching the Panthers play the lightning, play the Bruins, play the Rangers. And you're watching the hitting. And then I go watch the Western conference and which used to be called the Campbell Conference. The East Co used to be called the Wales Conference for the Americans out there. Yeah. I, they've changed so many things in hockey, which I don't exactly like. Like, be traditional to what you are. And I, and I like stuff like that because it's like they, they kind of Americanized it with East, West, and crap like that. I don't like that, yeah. but whatever. But, man, the Panther series were hitting – I mean, they're, they're, the Panthers are so aggressive, you know, attempting to put the puck in the net um, and goal. And you're watching Edmonton, you're watching um, Dallas and the teams, and they seem to be more finesse. It's more of a finesse style of play, less brutality. <laughs> brutality yeah. is the best word. I mean, last year, the, the Vegas Golden Knights kicked the Panthers' ass, but that was also in large part because the Panthers had two of their best players 
Matthew Kachuk broke his sternum in game three. And Aaron Ekblad, their de- one of their def- best defensive players, was playing on a broken foot. Yeah. Imagine playing hockey on a broken foot. Yeah. You know how fast like, those players are on that damn ice? It's incredible. It's, it's unbelievable. I remember going there. Did you go to a hockey game when you were there? Uh, Yeah. I went to Edmonton. It's amazing. It's amazing. I went to Edmonton game. And, I was, and as long as I was in Winnipeg, I was supposed to see some Winnipeg games. And I just never ended up going. My last week in Winnipeg that year that I got hurt. That would have won the championship, by the way. Uh, but uh, mm-hmm. if I was healthy, but hey, can you handle that? Um, I was supposed to go to the Winnipeg hockey game the last week before I left, but it was just hectic without moving and getting back to the states. I just wasn't able to make it. And all the other times, even Calgary last year, I, I just didn't make it. But I went in Edmonton before, and I think I oh, I actually went to Winnipeg like their junior hockey team, like getting them ready for the league. I went to a couple of those games so. Man, those, how they move on that on that damn I was about to say on that field. How they move on that ice is tremendous, man. I have been on the ice before, like I just go ice skating every now and then. They're first, running on ice. First of all, I'm scared as hell. Because I, I am terrified that that blade is gonna I'm gonna fall cut, somebody slice you in the net or cut your fingers off or something like that. I'm terrified I'm gonna fall and somebody's behind me to the blade is just gonna rip whatever off of me. You know, whether it's my arm, my <laughs> fingers, my toes. Your I, neck? <laughs> I was just gonna say, I hope it's one of those those areas rather than that neck area. Lord, that can be we see it's that. happened. That's it's happened. So, condolences to the to that family. But yeah, no, this I, I I'm excited as hell. I really think the Panthers are gonna win this series. I, I have the Panthers in five. Um, they're just so damn. They're they're so so fucking good, man. And, and, and the crazy thing about the Rangers series, I don't know if you watched any of it, but against the Rangers, the Panthers dominated the series. Like, it was 4-2, but this was not a close series. Yeah. The Panthers lost a game where they outshot the Rangers by 60. By 60. Not 60 on net, but 60 by 60 shots. So Because if you have a shot and it goes just wide of the net, it's not, and it's not saved, it's not a shot on goal. But it's a shot. And they outshot them by 60 in game three. And, they, and the Panthers lost 5-4 in overtime. And there was just an onslaught. And the goalie for the Rangers, Igor Shosturkin, that guy's amazing. I mean, the saves that dude was making, you're sitting here saying, holy shit. Yeah. And yet, whenever the Rangers had a chance, they converted. And it was like, bro, man, this is like, you're, you're, it's, it's like the soccer game that you're watching. And I was always telling my kids, you can dominate the game, but you have to be, continue to be aggressive, 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 and be there for the rebounds and putbacks in, in the recreational league of soccer because that's where most of your goals come from, and that's where most of your goals come from in hockey. Yeah. The Panthers lost game three on a shot that hit the guy for the Rangers in the chest and redirected into the goal. He didn't do anything. His body hit the puck, <laughs> and, 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 and they lost the game. <laughs> He kept the Rangers in it because everyone who watches like this, these games could have been seven to one every game with the way he played if, if with a, a human goalie, you know, and I don't know if this guy for Edmonton is as bionic as Shesterkin is. I, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am correct that he's not bionic like Shesterkin because if he's not, I cannot see the Panthers not winning this series in five, but I think it's the coolest thing around that to see it's like, the team in Dade in South Florida has the best hockey team in the world. Like, come on, man. Come on now. You know, the best hockey team in the world could be in South Florida. And the funny thing is, is 12 of the Panthers players are from Canada. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I mean, yeah there's a, I mean, most players are from. Most players are from Canada. But it's like, you know, I, I just think it's, I'm excited. Canada. I'm not going to be able to go, I'm not going to be able to go to any of the games, but. I have a conference next week, and my wife is still not capable of walking up, you know, stairs and stuff like that It'll with a C-section. Week. But uh, yeah, but no, that's uh, I think it's pretty dope, and I, I'm sure the Canadian fans are going to be maybe not, maybe they hate each other enough that Calgary fans will be like, "Fuck you, Edmonton! I don't want you to win." I don't know. <laughs> you know what? I think Canada's going to pull it together. I, even though it's a rivalry, rivalry between 
and mm-hmm. to the Calgary. Uh, I think they pulled together right now. They band together. They just want one for the for the oh Canada. Oh, yeah. Well, they ain't gonna win this one. Oh, they made it. They they ain't gonna win this one. The Panthers are coming, man. Matthew Kachuk, Sergey Bobrovsky, Alexander Barkov, Gustav Forsling. See, I know the names. I know the players, man. I'm I'm like brothers with these guys now, man. I've been watching this shit for three years now because the Panthers have been good for three years. They they have been good. They got you know, but this year that they're they know what it's they know what what it's about. They they're kind of coming with that same uh, feeling of the Boston Celtics. Like, you get this shit done or you may not have another chance. Thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.